Welcome to How to Plant a Seed. We're going to start um, with a clear plastic cup. We want to be able to watch the roots grow, so it needed to be clear. And I was lucky this morning to find a plastic one in my house. Um, I put a hole in the bottom by taking a screwdriver and a hammer and just knocking a big hole in it. But if you don't have a plastic cup, a glass one will do. It's just a little trickier because uh, it doesn't drain the water away from the soil, so you could fill it too full. All right, so I have my plastic cup with a hole in it. The next thing, of course, I need is soil. Now, I have potting soil. Not everybody has that available, and that's okay. You can just go outside and dig up some soil and put it in a cup. So let's fill our cup. I always find a stick. <laughs> That's enough. All right. To be able to um, view it, you want to push your seeds down next to the outside of the cup. Now, uh, it's gonna be a little tricky. You remember those uh, little seed scars I was talking about earlier? We're gonna point, plant those pointing different directions. So, look for your seed scar. You wanna do one seed scar up, seed scar down. <laughs> seed scar left, and seed scar right, or right, left. Depends on how you're looking at the video. Anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to do this one facing that direction. Put it right next to the edge and push it down only to here. Put it out. All right, now I'm going to turn it. You can see it there. Now I did it that direction, so this time I'm going to point it that direction. So I find the seed scar and I'm going to point it that direction. Push it right next to the glass in, cover it up. Now, I'm gonna put the seed scar up. So I'm gonna point it up. There. And now I'm gonna do one with the seed scar going down. Oops, hold it, it's on top of another one. I have to find a blank space. Right here, seed scar down. It's gonna get crowded in the cup. So now you can see all the different directions that the seeds are pointing. Well, I think we need to water it in, but it's got a hole in the bottom, so some of the water might leak out. You're gonna need a plate. And I have some water here. I'm so excited. I want to see which direction, how those roots pop out differently. All right. Okay, so seeds, uh, the roots, don't like to grow towards the sunshine. So if we want to be able to view them, we're going to have to make it dark around the outside of the, the cup. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some paper. And yep, I still get newspapers. If you get uh, one of the long sheets, we're going to fold it over to make it thin and long. And we're going to make a ring. And we're going to tape it together, and since I have a hard time doing that and pulling tape off, I'm going to cut two pieces of tape first. I hook them right here, ready for me. Now, I'm going to go all over it. Uh, looks like it's going to be too small at first. That's okay, I know I can make it bigger. Let it down. Let's see, I'm 
I'm gonna measure. Nope, not big enough yet. Spread it out a little bit more. Yes. So now I will put one piece of tape at the top and one piece of tape at the bottom. Now, if you're a full day student and you have your journal, you need to write the date that we planted these seeds. And make note that we planted a seed up, a seed down, a seed facing that way, and a seed facing that way. And then we can add to those notes later as we watch how the radical root and the plenial move through the soil with it pointed different directions. Thank you for watching How to Plant a Seed.